Hey guys, this is Mrs. Bess. Hope you guys are doing well wherever you are. I sure do miss you guys. Um, so we're going to take a look at the story The Rock Talker by Stuart Baum, which I have done as a read aloud on a separate video. But I just want to review a couple things with you before you read so you kind of have a focus while you're reading. You guys know how I like to do that. Okay, so again, short story, Rock Talker, Stuart Baum, and we're going to be looking at cause and effect. So, I just want to remind you, when I'm talking about cause, pretty simple guys, we're just talking about any action, event, or behavior that makes something else happen as a result, okay? So, because of the COVID-19, we are doing this digitally. That would be the result or the effect. The cause is the virus. All right, and for the effect, just meaning the result of that action, event, or behavior. Again, this is our result, digital learning. That's the effect, okay? So, um, after you read or listen to the story, you're going to have three choices for the choice board this time. And um, two involve the multi-flow map, which you guys should remember as being cause and effect. Um, and you're going to have a choice to do the multi-flow map for cause and effect with text or with pictures. So that's two choices there. Multi-flow map text, multi-flow map pictures, or you're going to be able to just choose to give me a written paragraph, which I also love, as you know. So, again, I'll have all this posted as a separate attachment um, on the dojo as a story if you need to see it again. Or you can just watch this over and over, too. So, um... This is what the multi-flow map looks like. You got the skill at the top where it says cause and effect. The multi-flow map is the title of the map at the bottom. And you guys should maybe remember that this box here is called the frame of reference other than drawing it. Don't worry about that too much right now. So you just think of um, your event, whatever that is, maybe like an event from the story or an event from your day, whatever the example is. And then you would list the causes that made this event happen, okay? And then each of those causes would go in a separate box. And as you can see, you have arrows pointing to the event, which um, then leads into the effects of that event. So you've got causes that make this event happen. And then in a sense, this event itself becomes a cause for these three effects over here. So the effects are the result of the cause. Okay, so to have a little bit more clarification here, I came up with a couple of examples. Okay. So would my lovely assistant maybe want to zoom in a little bit for this one? Okay. So I just kept it simple. For example, if the event was that I received an A on my test. Awesome. Okay, I received an A on my test. So three examples of causes, three causes that went into me receiving an A on my test. One, I paid attention in class and I took good notes. Two, I studied a little bit each day for a week. I didn't procrastinate and put it off to the last minute like you guys like to do. I started early. And then, the night before the test, I went to bed early to review again the next morning when it was nice and fresh. Okay? So these are all three causes that made this happen as far as me getting that A on that test. Now, the effects or the result of me getting an A on my test, I made myself and my parents proud. Yay. I also raised my grade in, grade in class. That's always a plus. And as a result, or the effect again, I increased my self-confidence. So here, boys and girls, you can see is an example of a completed multi-flow map with text. So this could be what yours might look like if you choose that option. Or for those of you out there who are super artistic, you may want to try the same thing with pictures because I know I had a lot, of, a lot of you that like to talk with your pictures instead of your words. So this is the exact same information. Paying, a class, paying attention in class, studying a little bit each day, going to bed early, all of those leading into that A plus on the test and that feeling of pride. Yay, congratulations, you did it and raise the grade from a B to an A, woo! And now I feel like a superhero because I raised myself confidence. Superhero status, yay, good job. So again, message me on Dojo or Live Grades or email if you have any questions about that. And 
Um, enjoy the read aloud. Let me know if you have any other questions. Hope to see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.